Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kauser Wise and this is the continuation video of transportation model. You can find the playlist link in the description box. Now in this video we are going to see unbalanced transportation problem by using least cost method. Now let's get into the video. See the problem. Find the initial basic feasible solution to the following transportation problem by using least cost cell method. Okay, so here they have given the matrix cost matrix with supply and demand okay before you solve any transportation problem first you have to check whether the problem is balanced one or unbalanced one so balanced transportation means both supply and demand will be equal then the problem is called balanced if the demand and supply is not equal means then the problem is called unbalanced transportation problem okay for that what to do First, we need to convert unbalanced problem into balanced problem. Then we can proceed by using any one method to solve the transportation problem. So here we are going to see unbalanced transportation problem by using least cost cell method. First, let us check the total demand and supply. Okay, so demand 6 plus 27 plus 54 is equal to 87. And check the supply total 15 plus 24 plus 21 plus 42 is equal to 102. So this problem is unbalanced. Now we need to add either dummy row or dummy column. But here supply is more than demand. What is the difference? 15 difference. So now we need to add one dummy column in order to convert this unbalanced problem into balance. Then we can solve the problem by using least cost cell method. See the solution. I have taken the cost matrix and the first step is we need to add dummy column in order to convert unbalanced into balance. Okay, so dummy column cost is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 and demand how much? What is the difference? 15. Now this problem is balanced one. What is the total now? 102. Okay, now we are going to solve this problem by using least cost cell method. So for that, we need to select the least value in the cost matrix. So here the least value is 0, no. Here we have 4 zeros. So we need to select any 1, no. But here demand is maximum 15. So I am going to allocate 15 and here supply also 15. So that I am going to exhaust the entire supply and demand by selecting this particular cell. Okay, just select this cell and allocate the value. Here 15, 15 both are equal. So I can allocate 15 here. Now this will become 0 and here also 0. Now this particular row will get cancelled and this particular column also will get cancelled. Okay. So after deleting the particular row and particular column, then with the rest of the values, we need to find out the least one. Which is the least value? 2. But here there is a tie. Here we have 2, another 2. So we need to select the maximum allocation. In case of tie, we need to select the cell where we are going to allocate maximum value. Okay. Suppose if I select this particular cell means I have to compare the demand and supply and I need to allocate the minimum one. Okay. How much demand? 54. And how much supply? 24. Okay. The least one is 24. No. So I can allocate 24 here. Okay. Suppose if I select this particular cell, I need to compare the demand and supply. So how much demand? 6. And how much supply? 42. So which one is least? 6 is the least value. So I can allocate 6 here. Now if I select this one, I can select 24. If I select this particular cell, I can put 6. So which one is maximum allocation? This one will be the maximum allocation. No. So that we can select this particular cell for allocation. Okay. Now compare 54, 24. 24 is the lesser value. So enter 24 and this will become 0. And here balance 30 will be there. Now this particular row will get cancelled. After deleting this particular row, we need to follow the same procedure. Again with the rest of the values, which one is least? This is the least cost. Okay. So now compare demand and supply. 6, 42. Okay. So 6 is the lesser value. No. So allocate 6 here. Here 0. And here balance 36. So after allocating 6, balance how much? 36. And this will become 0. No. Now this particular column will get cancelled. Okay. 
again follow the same procedure which one is least one four is the least one now compare the demand and supply 36 and 30 which one is least value 30 is the least value no so allocate 30 so balance 6 here 0 so this particular column will get cancelled now we have only two cells okay now which is the least one 8 is the least one no so I am going to allocate this particular cell by comparing demand and supply demand 27 supply 21 which is the least one 21 is the least one so enter 21 0 and here we will be having 6 balance 0 no cancel this particular row and finally we have only one cell and demand and supply is equal finally you will be getting equal demand and supply the reason is the problem is balanced one okay so that you can allocate six here zero and zero and the last cell also will get cancelled that's it now we can find out the total transportation cost by multiplying the cost into allocated value okay see the first one 15 into zero then second row 24 into 2 24 into 2 then third row 21 into 8 then fourth row 6 into 2 6 into 12 30 into 4 find out the total 72 120 what is the total? Rupees 420. Okay, so this is the way to calculate total transportation cost by using least cost method. Okay, hope you like this video. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.